everybody. Um, it is me here with a face, well, no, it's more of a Lush haul slash review. Um, the things I'm about to show you I've had for months and it's, I've gone through this trial period. They're all face, face cleansers, facial cleansers and things to do with your face. So, um, for a quick backstory, um, for a while there, a few months back, my face was getting really, really bad. Like when it came to like blemishes and breaking out and everything. Um, I, I, if you know all of my like earlier videos and stuff, you know that I swear by Clinique. I love the Clinique, the three-step acne system, the acne solutions, love it. Well, you know, just like everybody, after a while of using something, it, it doesn't work anymore and you gotta switch to something else. At that point, I switched to Clean and Clear and I was using that and then after a while, it just wasn't doing anything. So then I went back to my Clinique and that wasn't doing anything either. Like, and I'm, I wasn't just doing this for like, you know, a week or whatever and decided it's not working for me that, I, you know, I need to do something else. Um, because I know that your, you know, face needs time to get used to that kind of stuff. To get used to a change in, in products and everything. So it might break you out to start off with. But then after that, it'll start actually working for you. And um, it just, it wasn't doing anything for me. And I was freaking out because Clinique has always been the best ever. Like, if it wasn't for your body getting used to a certain thing after you use it for a while, I would be using that and only that and I would tell people only about that for forever. But um, unfortunately it wasn't working, I don't know what was going on, but I had to get something, I had to get something else because my face was getting so bad. So I decided to jump on the Lush bandwagon and try some of their stuff. The first thing that I tried was their Fresh Pharmacy Cleanser. And that one is actually said that it's used for um, sensitive skin, which I don't have. And I didn't realize that that it said that once I bought it, but um, it's down to this. I only got you know one bar, and it's down to here. And I used it for um, a good amount of months. I used it for probably about three months, and at first it seemed like it was working great. It dried out. All of the blemishes that I had and it looked like my skin was literally f like fighting to close up and heal um, but one thing that did happen with the fresh pharmacy is that it did get rid of the big spots but I kept getting smaller blemishes popping up everywhere and you know I'm it just it was frustrating because you know yes I did get rid of the really bad spots that I had but I'm looking for something that's going to prevent it, not, you know, an alternative, you know what I mean? So I just got fed up with that. So I'm like, oh, I'll try the harsher one, which is their coal face cleanser. And that one is, you know, for when you like, it's a really good scrubbing one. One to, you know, a good one that really like scrubs your face. And this is what that one looks like. It's the black one. And, um... Use this for a few months also, and this was like I wasn't even washing my face. It didn't help it whatsoever, and it my face just turned out getting really bad again. So none of those worked. Don't like them whatsoever. Um, I also ordered to see if um, it would help out because at that point when I was just using either one of those, I wasn't using any kind of moisturizer or anything like that. And, you know, I have um, oily skin and even though you should still, you know, moisturize and stuff because um, that's just good for your skin. So I wanted to do some something that was kind of like a, like a few steps to my skincare routine rather than just doing the cleanser. So I ordered Grease Lightning, which is like a spot treatment, and I also ordered the uh, Tea Tree Water Toner to use right after the cleanser, and then any um, major or um, any difficult areas, I put the Grease Lightning on. 
used all this stuff in different combinations for months and did nothing. The, like I said, the Fresh Pharmacy made my skin, you know, made me, got rid of the big ones, but I had a bunch of little blemishes popping up here and there and everywhere every single time that I used it. And then the cold face, it's like I wasn't even washing my face. It's like I, I didn't wash my face whatsoever. And it was just getting oily and dirty and it just did not look good. So my review overall for Lush Face Cleansers is a, I will never order them again. I won't try any different ones. I won't do anything like that. So at the end of all this, I was so frustrated because I had no idea what I was going to do. And I still had my Clinique system that I didn't end up not using because it wasn't working. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try and go back to that. What's the worst that can happen? And it's actually been doing really great. So, yay! My uh, Clinique savior came in to rescue my face. So, um, it has been getting a lot better ever since I've been using that. And... Um, I just, I'm falling back in love with Cleek, so I'm really glad that that's working, but, um, I just wanted to let you guys know the dealio, and, uh, I actually ended up going to a Lush store for the first time, because I live in Illinois, and in the area that I'm in, it doesn't have a Lush store. The closest Lush store is, like, two hours away. It's, like, it's out in Chicago. So, um... Chris and I ended up taking a trip there, and the main reason was to go to a Lush store. So I went over to that store finally, and I was looking at everything, and I was so excited, but the thing is when I went there, I didn't buy anything. And then they tell me that if I would have brought my stuff that I could have gotten like a in-store credit or traded it in for something or whatever. So I could have gotten something else for free, you know, for just trading this stuff in, but, um, I mean, and I told them that I've used it up pretty good, but it's like, oh, it doesn't matter, you just bring it in and whatnot, so, uh, sad that I didn't bring it with me, because I could have gotten rid of all this crap, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and give my little sh lush spiel, my first, uh, lush thing going on, am I, like, gonna stay clear of the store altogether no i um i was wanting to try their face masks but i'm not even gonna attempt it so no um bath bombs and stuff like that when i was there i was smelling everything and nothing really caught me besides this this one i don't remember what the name of it was but it was pink and it had swirls so that is the one thing that I really loved it like smelled like bubble gum I love it and um, the only thing is I'm I'm in an apartment the reason why I didn't buy it, I would have bought it but the reason why I didn't is that I live in an apartment and I don't know I just I feel really weird about soaking in the bathtub in any place other than a house I guess I don't know I'm just weird like that I don't know who else has been soaking in that tub <laughs> Like you could clean it all you want. It's just, I don't know. I just feel weird. So, um, but when I get my own house, when Chris and I get our own house, then I'll, then I'll buy it. But, um, anyway, yeah, that was my video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I guess kind of like a facial update too. So, uh, yeah, till, uh, next video. Bye guys.